Hey everybody, it's me, John, here again. Just giving you an update on the Rep Rep Pro Mindle. This bad boy right here. Once that focuses in, there it is. Focus anytime you want to. There you go. Rep Rep Pro Mindle. There it is. So it's been like this for about three weeks. Uh, not too much has been done to the frame since I got that done. I did have the, the extruder mounted. But the part I had a problem with was getting this actual extruder nozzle created once that comes into focus. Okay, so the problem I had was I didn't want to use the blowtorch, which I ended up doing this weekend. Uh, I have about 20 hours available on the weekends to work on this project. The rest of my time is completely filled throughout the week. So I apologize for any delay, but I was really didn't want to get to this without being prepared for it. So. I took the time this weekend and I learned how to use the blowtorch correctly. So what I ended up doing was uh, putting two separate pieces onto this aluminum nozzle uh, block here. You have the nozzle down here and then a tube on top. I used some PTFE tape, some plumber's tape right here. Wrapped it around the threads, screwed it in, and then put it on the block. Heated it up with a blowtorch and tighten it down a little bit more. Once I did that, I actually threaded it into this aluminum block right here. <clears throat> this part right here. And that thing is actually, I don't know what the problem is, but it's kind of cross-threaded now. Uh, I couldn't get, I couldn't get this part back out when I wanted to adjust something. I couldn't pull it back out and this part actually started separating from the, bra from the stainless steel nozzle. Uh, they're both pretty tight, so I hope it won't leak, but it might. So this might be a point of failure. And uh, to back me up on that, RepRap Pro has actually stopped selling this as two separate pieces, well, three total pieces, as the, bra as the stainless steel and then the aluminum and then the brass. Now they just sell the aluminum block and then one solid nozzle that goes all the way through, which is really smart. So I might actually have to end up ordering a new one to replace this if this one leaks. So it's got the cooling fan here with the heat sink. It is bolted in. The Bowden cable, man, my focus sucks. Okay, so the uh, Bowden cable here is something new that I, I actually have not experienced with yet, no experience with yet. But uh, it's supposed to deal with a lot of pressure actually coming from the extruder drive. So hopefully that won't pull out because all you do is basically just take a pencil sharpener, like this one, and you make a cone out of the end of the PTFE tube, and you screw that in. And that's supposed to be enough, apparently, to deal with the pressure, so we'll see how that works out. So hopefully this thing won't leak. If it does, then I'll have to make some changes. But I'll, I forgot to tell you, uh, <clears throat> on the stainless steel side here, beneath this block, there is supposed to be, on the inside, a small little like inner tube of PTFE. It's supposed to be like this thing. It's the size, this side di diameter. It's really tiny. This is a scrap from that. And it goes on the inside of this nozzle here. Look at that. Oh, this is awesome YouTube video right here. Anyway, okay, so it goes on the inside like that. It's actually supposed to, to allow the, the filament to go straight through the tube all the way through without interruption straight back into the nozzle and I won't know if it's right until I heat it up and push plastic through so we, we will see what happens so there is progress being done on this all I have to do now is solder the, the connections together wire it all up and then I can move on with the power supply which uh, I'm, I'm a little bit more familiar with electronics but I really don't like soldering. <clears throat> I really don't like soldering, so excuse me. Um, that might be a point of failure for me too. So I'm looking forward to failing in all different ways. Okay, so there it is. I know you guys have been bothering me a lot about getting on this, but I honestly am pushing as hard as I have time to do this. And in one of my previous videos, I addressed the things that get in the way of dealing with 3D printers. I've actually even shelved my mosaic for now until I can finish this one so I am completely dedicated to getting this thing up and running it's gonna be an awesome machine once it's going so okay 
That's this week's video. Talk to you guys later.